welcome to my channel. My name is Dhruv Kailash. Today we will be discussing linear regression. What is the output of this code? If you know the answer, let me know in comments. Linear regression is one of the simplest and widely used regression technique. Linear regression is the approximation of a linear model used to describe the relationship between two or more variables. There are two types of linear regression models. Simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. Today we are going to discuss simple linear regression. Simple linear regression is a very simple approach for supervised learning. In simple linear regression, there are two variables. A dependent variable y and an independent variable x. We can write this linear relationship as y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x. Here, y is the output variable or the dependent variable. x is the input variable or the independent variable. Beta 0 is the intercept. We can remember this as the value of y when x is equal to 0. Beta 1 is the slope or gradient. The key point in linear regression is that our dependent variable y should be continuous and cannot be discrete value. However, x can be a continuous value or a discrete value. If we plot the independent variable x on x-axis and the dependent variable y on y-axis, linear regression gives us a straight line that best fits the data points. Let us try to implement simple linear regression. Here I am using the house price data. This is downloaded from Kaggle. I am importing the required libraries first. Let us explore the data a little bit by checking the number of rows and columns in our dataset df underscore house. This dataset is having 21,613 entries or rows and it is having 19 columns. Now let us check how many NA values are there in our data set. Here we can see that we don't have any null value in our data set. We can create a correlation plot and check the correlation between the dependent variable price and other variables in the data set. Here we can see that the price variable and the independent variable square feet living are correlated. Let us create x and y now. y is the dependent variable that is the price variable here. x is the independent variable. Here I am considering square feet living as the independent variable. In linear regression, we have to convert the independent variable to a two-dimensional array. So, I am applying a reshape function on square feet living. But no need to convert the y variable as two-dimensional array. Now, let us split the data into train data and test data. For this, I am importing train test split from sklearn.model selection. Then I am applying train test split on x and y. Here 20 percentage of the whole data is considered as the test data. Next step is to create linear regression and fit the training data. For this I am importing linear regression from sklearn.linear model. Now I am creating a linear object linref using linear regression. Let us fit the training data using the object linref. 
Here, copy x is a boolean value which decides whether to copy or overwrite input variable. Fit intercept decides whether to calculate intercept beta 0 or consider it as 0. N underscore jobs is an integer that represents the number of jobs used in parallel computation. Normalize decides whether to normalize input variable. Let us check beta 0 and beta 1. Beta 0 is the slope. Here, beta 1 determines the relationship between price and the square feet living. If beta 1 is 0, then there is no relationship. But in this case, beta 1 is positive. It implies that there is some relationship between price and square feet living. Now I am applying a predict function on the x test data. Here I am creating a new data frame with actual value of y and predicted value of y test data. Let us plot this predicted value and actual value now. In order to calculate R squared, we need to understand RSS and TSS first. RSS is the residual sum of squares. Residual is the difference between the actual y value and the predicted y. This error is evaluated for each observation. Then all the residual values are squared and added. This term is called as residual sum of squares or RSS. Lower the RSS, the better it is. Next one is total sum of squares. Here we take the difference between the main value of the house price and the actual value of the house price. These differences are then squared and added. It is the total sum of squares. R square is equal to 1 minus RSS divided by TSS. This value is between 0 and 1. The higher it is, the better the model can explain the variance. Now I am calculating the root mean square error of our model. Now let us print the R2 score. Here we got R2 score as 0.49. Here we got root mean square error as 2,61,121.19 which is really very high while predicting the house price. This is kind of expected since we are only using one feature in our model and it could be greatly improved by adding more features such as number of bathrooms, number of bedrooms etc. We can also see that we are omitting relevant variables by looking at the R square coefficient. Here we got 49 percentage. This means that our model is able to explain only 49 percentage of the variability in the house prices. When we use multiple predictors, we call it as multiple linear regression. Let us discuss multiple linear regression in our next session. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe my channel. Bye! Enjoy coding with me through.